called Shirley Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We're going to do a short video right here on Nathan Langris Cooker. This is a 24 inch diameter cook chamber, 65 inches long, 3 eighths thick. The firebox has been rotated, warmer's been rotated. I do not like doing that, and I'll do it, but it is the only way you can do it is on a 3 eighths thick cook chamber that is 65 inches long. Because when you rotate this box, you can see how close that door is to the wheel. When you rotate this box right here, you're that close to the wheel. If I would scoot that cooker back anymore, it'd rear up on the front. So we're this far this way as we can go. So you can't do a short cook chamber and rotate the boxes. I've tried to you know, tell people that, and now maybe they'll be able to, to see it. It's just something you can't do, and it's going to cost more to do this. It throws our fabrication process off. But we don't mind doing it, but we will, but it has to be on a longer cooker. Can't do it on a trailer bill. You'll be right in your fenders and tires. This cooker here has a hip roof. It has Made in USA tag right here. It has a three shelf warmer. It's got three shelves right here. It's got the hip roof right here, which gives you more room up in here. Gives you a different look. When you pull this out, you can stand up whole birds, turkeys, chickens, whatever in there. And then you just got more room. You can pull that out, hang sausages, whatever you want to do. But anyway, uh, we got our signature ash pan right here. On this cooker here, we did not have enough room to put the slide damper right here from the main chamber into the warmer. So we got a little handle in here that we just slide and close it open. It's nothing to it, real easy. Uh, I just, you know, wanted to bring the door this way as far as I could, give it more cooking space. Uh, you got a damper right here on the back side of this cooker. It gives you uh, heat from your firebox into the warmer. Right here, there it is. Got a wireless probe insert here. You got two wireless probes inserts right here. It's uh, are the grates in this cooker, Cody? Yes, sir. The grates are in the cooker. I'll put the cook Everything chamber up the Huh? Everything with the firebox. Okay. There's the cook chamber right here. We have not put our gaskets on yet. We'll put them on in the morning when the paint dries a little bit more. You see, it's a lot of room. In the our shelf, somebody was asking me today. Our shelf blowing some sand. I have to cook the wet with sandblast. But below our, but our shelves are they removable, yes. Both our shelves are removable. You can move this top shelf on this cooker right here, put a 125 pound hog up there if you want to. So again, this is a wagon wheel right here. This cooker here probably weighs 1,400 pounds at least. 1,500, something like that. Earn that sand. But anyway, it's, it's the wagon wheel model. It's got the steering up front. It is a heavy cooker. I'm telling you, it's a big cooker. Cooker's big. Uh, right here, you can see, it has a grease drain. I want to have, put a, because of your steering mechanism, I put a uh, nipple right here, a 45 and a nipple to get the grease, grease away from the cooker. Anybody has one of these models that has an issue, just get you a close nipple, 45, and you'll get it right there out of the way. This shelf right here flips up. It does come off. It's a removable shelf. I'll go ahead and take it off right there. It is removable where Junior won't be knocking his head on the cover. Uh, that sand bugging me because we do sandblast all our cookers. Uh, and for the guy, gentleman that we had posted a cooker yesterday, a video on one that my, uh, that was concerned about the how the cooker was gonna pull, saying it didn't ha it had too much tongue weight was gonna bounce. Well, Steve uh, left this morning with his cooker going to South Florida. Talked to him about an hour ago. He said that cooker pulls 80 miles an hour down the road, perfect, like we knew it was going to. So anyway, you know, was just randomly looking at something and saying it was too much tongue weight. I don't know how you do that. You're injured here, I guess. But anyway, uh, it, it, you know, this is a nice cooker. I, I upgraded him out of goodness of my heart to 12-inch tires with chrome center caps. I just pitched that in the deal. So, uh, and, and I do like the 12-inch wheels better. Again, this is the wagon wheel model. You know, we're on level ground here. If you're going up a little incline, I could go up that incline easy right there, but somebody would definitely would need to be on the back, give me a little boost. But it steers really easy. Steers great. And uh, again, remember now, this is a big cooker. It is a heavy cooker. So uh, we just wanted to kind of showcase that today. We've got a couple of cabinet models in there started now. You can see I've got one on this end that is George Schamberger. Tyler's got one in there that is Chris Morris's. Morrison's, and I forgot to mention you, Joe, Joseph Michael, last night. 
We're going to have you ready as much too. I'll be calling you in a few days. I've got some computer problems inside my house. I can't do any printing. So uh, I've got a virus on my computer. I'm going to get that fixed. And then that way we'll talk. And I know you're going to make several changes. You've decided to make some upgrades. I know to an insulated firebox and some other things. And we'll certainly accommodate that. But uh, we'll, uh, I'll talk to you later on probably this weekend. But again, this is Paul with Shirley Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Give us a call. I have a lot of cooker inquiries. Is it 205-310-9160? Thank you.